CrossFit Deliverance members, welcome to the Be Relentless vlog. Uh, so remember, August has come and gone. It's gone by quite quickly, as I had already mentioned in the previous vlogs. But that means the Frosty Friday schedule is up to date for September. Take a look to see exactly what those days are and which one is bring your own everything and which one Amy and I are hosting where we perform the majority of the food and drinks. With that, also, uh, the Out of Gym event is going to be a Mariners game for September. Look on the membership Facebook page to get details on the exact dates. Also, uh, we were able to have a very uh, positive uh, meeting with our architects uh, today, and we have drilled down exactly how we need to play out this letter of support. So know that September is going to be the month that we're going to be working on getting signatures, asking people to go ahead and draft letter of support if you feel so inclined to send in one uh, that is individual just to yourself, and then on the 1st of October, this is when we're going to be needing those letters of support to be submitted to the City Council. Because the 1st of October is essentially when our master use permit gets submitted and the entirety of District 4, Seattle, the community can go ahead and weigh in on what the project is. And that's where we need to go ahead and have the, um, essentially our voices heard uh, overwhelmingly compared to the individuals that would see the projects essentially ended. Uh, with that, um, let's jump into the programming, guys. Should be fun. If you're a competitive athlete, today is your rest day. Go out and enjoy life. If you feel like you have a need to be in the gym, go ahead and work on a skill. Stay away from eccentric move it, movements. Uh, that could go ahead and create any um, um, essentially tension or soreness that's not needed during a rest day. Now, for Everybody else that you're coming in to actually go and do the workout. This will be fun. It'll be a sprint workout. It's going to be a ruck run from the ruck run, Russian twists, and then it's going to be over the shoulder ruck tosses. Now, there's going to be a few different ways that we can do this. As uh, coaches, we'll go ahead and show you how. The biggest thing you need to go ahead and take away from this attention is that your midline needs to be strong. That means abs, obliques, glutes. You need to organize and understand there's going to be some global flexion and extension that happens whenever we're dealing with awkward implements like sandbags, but as long as the midline is tight and organized, you will be safe. Also, right, we will be doing all the sandbag work out on the side lot. So um, know that we will be outside during this. So for the 6 a.m. class, it'll be super fun. It'll be just in some moonlight possibly, but it is still uh, staying pretty um, bright out though at that hour. Um, there are multiple different ways that you can essentially get a over-the-shoulder uh, toss completed uh, for a sandbag, and your coach will go ahead and preface and teach you those two separate ways. Uh, guys, have a good one. Remember, be relentless in everything that you do, and we'll see you on the flip side.